Factors that affect vapor pressure. Vapor pressure does not depend on the surface area of the liquid or the volume of liquid or vapor in the container. So these are two factors that do not affect vapor pressure. The two factors that do affect vapor pressure are temperature and the intermolecular forces between molecules. First we look at temperature. Here we have a Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution curve for two temperatures, 300K and 310K. This red arrow represents the minimum escape energy and this is defined as the minimum energy needed for a particle to escape the liquid phase and enter the vapor phase. That is the minimum energy needed to evaporate. So the blue region represents the number of particles with energy greater than escape energy at 300K and the shaded region that represents the number of particles with energy greater than escape energy at 310K. As you can see, at the higher temperature, which is 310K, a greater proportion of particles have energy greater than the minimum escape energy. So that means as temperature increases, more particles are able to leave the liquid phase and enter the vapor phase, which means the rate of evaporation increases. So to recap, at a higher temperature, a greater proportion of particles have energy greater than escape energy. Therefore, the rate of evaporation increases. This means that more particles can escape the surface of the liquid and the vapor pressure increases. So an increase in temperature results in an increase in vapor pressure. And if we talk about it in terms of equilibrium, the equilibrium for this process here has shifted to the right because the vapor pressure has increased.